Harsha Padhya is joining us now, Chief Investment Officer, Equity at Kodak Mutual Fund. Harsha, good to have you with us here. Let's just start, start with, uh, you know, all these blocks. I'm sure, you know, uh, all these deals come to you. And uh, the is this raining these block sales? What do you make of it, Harsha? Uh, how should we look at it? There is, of course, uh, much to be said about the depth and liquidity that people can exit when they want uh, with the quantity that they want. But as a participant, what do you make of it? Good morning, Prashant. Uh, clearly, market has seen a lot of liquidity in the recent months. Uh, for example, quarter to date, if you look at uh, foreign investor uh, flows, uh, those are almost touching $10 billion. Uh, similarly, on the uh, domestic side, we have been seeing consistent SIP flows. So to that extent, most of the institutional investors are looking for uh, investment opportunities. And uh, some of these deals have uh, obviously been lapped up. But again, uh, uh, there is no generic answer for this. Each of those issues you will have to uh, carefully analyze and see where the valuations are and what are you getting into and then take a call. So I'm, I'm sure uh, uh, at the, the beginning of a bull market, you will see a lot of these uh, uh, liquidity driven movements in the market. And that's what we are seeing uh, uh, right now. So this is the beginning of a bull market, Asha. That's what you describe. That's how you're describing it. Yeah, one can say that. I mean, if you look at the kind of move that we have seen uh, for this quarter, uh, uh, mid and small caps have clearly outperformed the large cap Nifty, and Nifty itself has gone up uh, almost eight nine percent during this quarter. Uh, while fundamentals are yet to change, but uh, uh, markets have seen a, a lot of liquidity coming in, and um, uh, valuations have got re-rated. At the same time, uh, one should also keep questioning at every point of time uh, whether the markets are getting slightly ahead of uh, fundamentals in the very short term. So that that remains to be considered. Are they? Harsha, good morning. Are markets getting slightly ahead of fundamentals in the short term? Uh, in some pockets, maybe yes, because uh, as usual, whenever the markets go up, and especially in a momentum-driven market, you will also see a lot of stocks which are not fundamentally strong also go up, and, and, and they do go up much more than uh, some of the fundamentally strong stocks. So to that extent, uh, in that basket, one needs to be careful. So uh, can you, uh, you know, since this is important, Harsha, for investors to keep this in mind while we always, you know, uh, look out at optimistic views, in case you see specific pockets where you're seeing some sense of over-enthusiasm building up, uh, can you identify them for us? I mean, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, uh, let's take defense as a theme. Uh, of course, a very long runway ahead and we're talking about a massive uh, opportunity. I mean, the theme is fine, Atma Nirbhar, indigenization, etc., uh, but the question is, stocks have run up. I mean, 100%, 200%, 300%. So, for example, does that pocket worry you? If not defense, is there someone, some other area of the market that worries you? Uh, absolutely, uh, Surabhi, you're right. Uh, defense is one pocket where we are also very positive from a long-term perspective. Uh, we do hold a couple of stocks in our portfolio. But from a very short-term perspective, I think most of these uh, stocks are uh, discounting at least the immediate upside that you can see in terms of fundamentals. Uh, what has happened is you do not have too many stocks which are into uh, defense manufacturing at this point of time. And and uh, we have also seen a fundraise happening and uh, money has been raised for a, a thematic sector fund or a, a, a defense related fund. Uh, so everyone knows that that money is uh, flowing into this sector, uh, whether you like the valuations or not. And who knows, there could be few more uh, launches in the category because that's what we have seen in our industry. Whenever you see one or two thematic funds, uh, there is always uh, some followers as well. So if that happens, you could see more re-rating of this basket. Uh, while I continue to believe that from a long-term perspective, uh, uh, the sector has a lot of potential, but from a very short term, one needs to be cautious because most of these stocks are uh, discounting all the upside that you can see probably in the short term. All right, uh, Harsha, just uh, hold on to that thought. You know, BSC is actually flying away. The stock is up close to around 6% or... Uh, you know, we'll have to see execution on ground, whether or not they can grab some market share from NSE. NSE in the unlisted market, by the way, is around 3,100 rupees odd, which is around 20 times its trailing earnings. So, you know, these exchanges, financialization of savings, um, more amount of volumes in the markets, well, uh, they could be a couple of plays out there. And that's why BSE is up close to around 6.5% odd. Harsha, you know, the other point is the monsoons. Now, that's clearly a bit of a risk to the economy, to the markets as well. Do you think at current reckoning, we're just ignoring that risk, uh, the way the markets have run up? 
Yes, one could say that. Probably that's not taking the center stage as yet, although it is very early in the season to say that uh, how it's going to pan out for the overall season. But clearly, we all know that there has been a delay. And if you go by the past uh, uh, history, uh, whenever the, defic the deficiency of monsoon is uh, more than uh, 6%, uh, that's when you uh, start seeing impact on the agricultural production. That's when you start seeing impact on inflation, etc. So uh, not only we need to see the quantum of rainfall, but also the distribution of the rainfall as you go ahead. So maybe in another six to eight weeks, things will be clear. But uh, as markets go up, go up uh, uh, in terms of valuations, obviously this also needs to be kept in mind because uh, uh, the consumption side of the economy is still somewhat weaker uh, uh, than, than the rest of the economy. So if uh, that is going to see another headwind in terms of monsoon, uh, then things will not be easy. Okay, uh, <clears throat> we leave it there. Thank you very much, Harsha. It's a pleasure having you with us here on the program. Uh, thanks Thank very much uh, for your time here on CNBC TV 18. So that's an interesting conversation, as always, uh, with Harsha Upadhyay, uh, with a perspective on things. Now we have